Hi, I'm Will from Lee, and I wanted to spend a couple of minutes talking to you about switch lines. I've got the 11 and a half foot seven weight 7X here, and I want to talk to you about a couple of different options regarding the lines. We get a lot of questions of people coming into the shop saying, um, you know, I've got a switch rod, what line do I put on it? I like to keep it fairly simple, and for me, I like to think what type of river that I'm fishing, and, and what is that river doing? So if, I, uh, if my local river is a spate river, okay, and I'm generally only fishing it when it's in spate, so I'm fishing spate rivers in spate, often I'm gonna want a little bit of depth, so I might want to uh, put some sink tips on there, slightly bigger flies, okay. Often there might not be much back casting space. Now for me, the multi-tip line is absolutely the choice. This is the STS, this is a multi-tip, which gives you different options for changing the tips so it gives you depth control okay you get floating intermediate and sink five tips so let's say i'm fishing a small river in the spring where the water's cold and depth is important that's the line that i'm going to go for for me i use this uh i use the switch rod a little bit more in the summer i'm using it on it on a medium sized river i do quite a lot of overhead casting with it I, I use it to fish the hitch fly for pulling sun rays for twitching flies moving them all that kind of interesting summer low water stuff Personally, that's when I'm using the switch rod. So I much prefer to go for an integrated line. An integrated line means I haven't got that loop-to-loop -loop connection get coming through the uh, end rod ring, which is gonna cause problems when you've got fish chasing after your hitch and you can't keep pulling in because the loop-to-loop -loop connection is stuck. So that's personally why I like to go for the tactical. Because the tactical is a double-handed line rating, okay, I'm gonna drop it down to a six weight. There's different classifications. You've got double-handed, single-handed lines and switch sit kind of in the middle so if you're going to a double-handed line drop down a line rating if you're going to use a single-handed line you need to go up two line ratings if you're looking at a five weight switch okay again we do a switch designated line so that's going to be really simple and again if we look at the gram ratings that's going to weigh 18 grams okay but if i wanted to go for an integrated line i want to put a single-handed line on that switch rod to make it load again i look at my gram ratings and to get 18 grams i'd be looking at an eight weight single handed line okay so if i'm going down to the single handed line classification i'm going to go up two line ratings if i'm using a double handed classification i'm going to go down one or if you've got a designated switch line match the number it is a little bit confusing i know but i know and love the seven weight switch and for me for the types of fishing that i'm doing when i'm fishing in lower water i'm doing a mixture of overhead casting and spade casting the tactical six is is the line that i would recommend and that's the line that i use if i'm using it slightly earlier in the season okay where depth is important i'm doing all spade casting and no overhead then i would be going for the designated switch multi-tip shooting head option.